everybody, here's Natasha and I'm from the feminine space. I just today want to share with you something that hit one of my clients so closely to home. And as I was on the coaching call with her, what I realized is that sometimes, you know, when we want to feel happy, when we know that, you know, our worries are in the way of um, our blissful natural state and when we are troubled by our mind and our thoughts we try so hard sometimes to get out of it and to make ourselves feel like it's all okay again but what I said to her was in what ways are you actually distracting yourself from doing the things that you actually need. Because sometimes we do a lot of meditations, we take on a lot of, you know, ideas, but is it really what we need? Is there simply just something we need to do in order to let go of that feeling we have in this moment? And my, my words to you, because this happens so often, you know, if you're into self-development, if you're into meditation, if you're into just growing and transforming in any way is that there's a difference, a huge difference between making yourself into a project versus actually taking care of yourself. Hey everybody that's joining me. If this resonates with you then just feel free to give me a heart, give me a like because there, what, the difference here is that when we make ourselves into a project, what happens is our mind creates this end goal or end state of how we should be. Like imagine a kitchen project, right? Hey there, Andy. Like imagine a kitchen project where pretty much you have an idea, you have a model of how you want to do it and then you get the construction workers, you choose all the pieces and you make it and then in the end, it's the kitchen project, your dream kitchen that you get, right? Um, but the thing is, we're not made up in that way. Like, this is who we are. And instead of making ourselves into a project, sometimes really all we need is actually to reduce and subtract what's going on that's taking away from that like ideal self. So see, okay, if I'm gonna keep on going with this um, kitchen metaphor, then imagine that we're already born and we have everything we need to be happy and to feel the way that we want to, like loved, appreciated, enough, like we matter, all these things. So imagine that with every thought that brings us away from that and every you know, single thing that we believe, which actually puts us further away from our truth and what actually feels right for us, that's when we start adding all that junk in our kitchen. And in the end, sometimes if we do it for so many years in this habit of self-sabotage or perfectionism or people-pleasing is so strong and we're living it for so long that this kitchen ends up looking like a huge mess and we're actually not able to see through this whole mess and actually realize we're all, like we're exactly where we need to be. Maybe it's actually just getting rid of the junk that's in place there. Hey there, Asmat. I hope I pronounced your name right. I'm just talking about how, you know, when we make ourselves into a project, it's like a kitchen um, project where we're renovating and then we are pretty much um, putting ourselves on a pedestal of where we need to be, who we need to be, and that we can't feel a certain way or that we're not enough until we get there. But what if that perfect kitchen, that, that self, all those feelings you want, everything you need is already there. So it's not actually a project. It's actually just taking away what is bringing you away from that state. So I'm in, I was born in Hong Kong, raised in Canada, and now I'm living in Switzerland. So my soul has been traveling all over, but no matter where I go, it's like I am home and this is where I need to be. I'm very much less dependent on location now and it feels really good that way. So you guys, give me some feedback. Let me know how does this feel. 
does this make sense and how does this apply to your life and in what ways are you really really trying so hard and yet you feel like do i really need to work to get everything in place again is this the right method to go about does this, does this even feel right to work for it or to have this feeling of trying in order to feel a certain way or to have your life you know be at a certain place so if there's no feedback or if there's nothing that you want to share with me that's all i wanted to kind of let you know because um that was such a significant moment for my client to realize that not only is she hard on herself but actually with the mind all these thoughts have put her into a position where she is this project that actually will never ever end and never will be perfect so imagine the amount of trying and that struggle and that frustration that comes along with it if you pretty much put yourself in that place and you believe these thoughts that's that's what you need to be so um i would just say find people locally who you can um just talk to it's in the it's in the interactions it's when you are personally invested in something you know when you care about what you want to listen to that we start learning um i think there needs to be a motivation so what is your motivation do you want to connect with others or do you want to i don't know say why why are you in learning english right so anyways that's all i wanted to share um i'm gonna be sharing a lot more of these short videos and i have an amazing um facebook group it's feminine tribe.com but it's only open for women because um, i mostly work with women um, but i think that the, all the issues that we go through is it's just all the same so anyways um, make sure you like and also um, subscribe to me because i'm always going to be bringing you what i'm living personally because this is real stuff this happened yesterday on the call and i'm not making this up and it's there are not things that have never impacted anyone before. This is real. This is, you know, what happened in a call with a client. And if one person I know is going through it, then many of us may be already experiencing it. So anyways, um, love you so much. And make sure to join the Facebook group. Or if you want more resources, I have a, um, a podcast. So if you're into more listening to what I have to share and all the learnings that I want to bring to you, then feel free to just check out femininespace.com. So that's all I've got for you. Wishing you a wonderful day and I hope you catch up soon. So I hope that you write me or you contact me through my page or just tag me in the Facebook group. So I hope to see you there.